What you know about radiators? We see at the end, he makes an effort to invite his father into his life, asking for his advice about maintenance. What do you think that says for their relationship moving forward? And do you think we'll see Lou again this season? Transparently, I'm not sure if we'll see Lou again this season. But, you know, the way the episode ends, we definitely set it up for a very dynamic arc, you know, that has progressed. I think Atwater and Lou have the opportunity to be a dope team as long as they communicate with each other. And the show is renewed, so there's an opportunity to right. revisit that. Right, 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 right. <laughs> but there's an opportunity to revisit that and get as close as possible, right, to that ideal father-son relationship. They got 20 years of history without each other, right? 20 years of healing, you know, to try to grow through. I think Atwater welcomes as many uncomfortable situations as it takes for, th for them to find a comfortability with yeah. each other. Switching gears a little bit because we learned that Burgess and Ruzik are back together and Atwater is very close with both of them. I'm wondering, like, is he aware of their situation? And, and if so, what are his thoughts on them? Of course, Atwater's aware of their situation. <laughs> Ruzik was damn near texting Atwater the whole time. The last time things damn near got steamy, he knew it was on the way. He saw it in the ride. We have fun with those moments, man, because we're, we are such a family and we're so comfortable with each other, you know what I'm saying? Like, we're already, like, brother and sister. Yeah. And, and Boyd is, like, all about daddy, illegitimate. We have fun in those moments, man, uh, and we embrace it. But somebody got to get some love. And yeah. so, Atwater... Maybe Atwater, too? I, I got to live by care if she threw Ruzi. And oh. Bert, I got I to let them get it off. And then, you know, I'll pop off another way. One of her fans actually asked, can we expect any Atwater and Burgess scenes? Because we've been missing their friendship. Yeah, I, th I think you will. I think you will. It's not um, extremely strong. It's kind of subtle, you know? And what's dope about me and Burgess is that uh, we communicate, right? We talk all the time about our characters and where they're going, the things that we miss, the things that we want to see. And our imaginations don't always line up with the imaginations of writers. But what we have a good time doing is, you know, finding the balance. You know, what can we hold on to in our imagination that can apply in these scenes? And then the things that we gotta let go of, you know, we just we just let them go. We do our best, whether it's written or not, to find moments to connect, to challenge the writers. You know, sometimes we do have to ask them or remind them of what they wrote, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, so that we can continue to grow from those moments. That's what happens when you're 10 seasons deep. You got so much information to try to maintain and, uh, and line up. And finally, we are like a few episodes away from the finale. Anything you could tease about that, whether it's the stakes or what Atwater is dealing with, the vibes, what can you say as we head into the end of the season? We're trying to figure out this white supremacy. Yes. And Ruzek has been in deep on that. Mm -hmm. Ruzek been in deep. We all been doing our best to try to just help him focus and maintain. We will learn what Richard Beck is up to. We will find Atwater being the key component to making sure that we wrap that up safely. And that's really what I can't wait for the people to see. We watch it grow all the way up until the finale. And by the time the finale happens, the way the team got to spread out and figure everything out and get it done is crazy. Trust me, it's crazy. But Atwater is pivotal. Maybe this will be the case that gets him promoted to detective finally. <laughs> We've been waiting for that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Atwater's gonna be a detective one day. If it ain't this case, I don't know what case it's gonna be. I ain't gonna hold it. <laughs> for real. I'm like, come on, man. It's been a minute. I'm about to wake up. He's like, I might be a detective today. I ain't gonna, oh, today gonna be the day. <laughs> and every time. Aw. Uh -huh. We'll see.